All right, so we're here at the park. I'm here with uh, Alejandro. He's a good friend of mine and also my roommate. We got the Spirit in the Sky rocket. Our screw switch is used to arm the GPS. So we got our screws, we got our phone, the featherweight GPS, which is what we're using for this uh, vehicle, uh, basically communicates directly to your phone. So the way I'm gonna start the arming process is I have the featherweight GPS ground station. All right, so we have the ground station is turned on and we have live telemetry from the ground station going to the phone. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and arm the GPS transmitter, which is located inside the rocket with a screw switch. Uh, that screw switch we access through the holes right here. There you go, see? We're seeing telemetry from the battery and the ground station, essentially. So uh, the next step is that Alejandro is gonna take the rocket, he's gonna go some distance, text me or call me, let me know where, like not where he is, but to come out and find him. And my task will be to take the ground station and try to find him that are tracking the GPS transmitter, um, which I can basically see where it is uh, with the rocket. I feel pretty confident in the system. Um, I think that uh, I think the GPS and Spirit Featherweight. I think Featherweight will do a pretty good job. Um, and so we're gonna basically see the true test to see whether we can truly find the rocket. But in general, I feel pretty confident with this test. If not. Uh, I can remain in contact with Alejandro and we will let, or I'll let him know if there are any issues and if we need to abort the test and then he'll come find me and so on. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this. Time to run a mile. <laughs> exactly. Time to run a mile. All right, we're going to exchange off. He now has the rocket. He now has a light. And yeah, Godspeed. Good luck. Is that it will tell me the general direction in which it's at and then I can also look at the telemetry from the ground, the uh, GPS. And so it's telling me the GPS latitude, longitude. I can see that Alejandro is moving. That is really cool. Then I can see my position here. Um, and so I'm gonna wait for his text and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to find him. All right, so Alejandro. All right, so Alejandro just texted that he is ready for us to go try to find him. So, using the GPS tracker and transmitter, uh, we're going to try to find him. The GPS wants me to go in this direction. So, we're going to go this way. Alright, he is at roughly 47 degrees. My latitude and longitude is getting very close. This is always creepy at night. We are at 37.37202. He's at 37.37311. Slowly moving a little bit, but we are getting very close. This is taking hardware testing to the next level in my opinion. We're gonna go ahead and go around this bank because I don't think he's down here or the rocket would be down here. We're getting very close, as you can see. That is a bit bright. I do apologize for that. All right, so we're closing in. 37 decimal 241. He's at 311. We're very close. But he should be directly this way Oy. up here she's just gonna walk along this bank let's see oh it well, wants me to go a bit more this way he went far Jesus I hope this is calibrated correctly um Yo! Hell yeah, dude! That's insane! Sheesh, dude, you went hella far! Look at that! <laughs> we can see the GPS coordinates. He was at, uh, look at that, uh, latitude 
37 decimal 3715 is the ground station. 37 decimal 373130 is you. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. It works. It works. That was really cool. Uh, you want to head back? Yes, sir. All right.